Bernie Haney here for TFO Rods. I'm in Henderson Harbor, New York. During the month of November and December, I love to chase pickerel down here because I'm like the only knucklehead in the harbor, so it's a lot of fun. But uh, they're really toothy fish, and they like to bite off my little 2.8-inch uh, Kitex swim baits. So to prevent that, I usually use a 24 to 36-inch liter of uh, Cortland Floor Farm. I've got uh, eight pound braid here. I'm going to tie the lefty Kerr knot from uh, braid to floor carbon. Great knot that lefty uh, tied. He's been gone a few years, but this is one of the gifts he gave us to fishing, and it'll continue on in his memory. So let's take a look at this thing. I overlap the floor carbon with the braid by about six inches. Hold each end together, and I do three clockwise turns. One, two, three. Pinch it where they come together. This is your working end, and this is your standing end going to the rods. So you take the working end, take it up under and back through the knot. And then you simply pull it snug and uh, wet it just a little bit before you dress it down the rest of the way. Now this knot here is a 100% uh, tensile strength knot. Great, great knot. And uh, while the pickerel can rub through the uh, doggone braid, they don't seem to be able to eat through the floor carpet, so it's a wonderful knot. Very small, passes through the guides, and once I trim it off, as you can see, it was really easy to tie. And that's the knot I use. A lot of folks, I used to use the Uni to Uni, which is a great knot, and my fishing buddy, Captain Mike Cassano, prefers the FG knot, but uh, I prefer this knot because it's so much quicker to tie and easier. Trim off the ends, and uh, there you have it. Nice little knot that slides right through the uh, guides like it's not even there. Great, great knot. So that's what we're going to be using today. And I'm going to be fishing with the uh, 703 Professional Series TFO Rod 703. It's a medium light rod and it's rated for 4 to 10 pound test. Uh, some of you folks that follow me have seen this rod before. It's one of my favorite rods. And it really does a great, uh, great job for this specific application. So now that we've got our leader tied up. Let's tie in a little swim bait and go see if we can catch us some of these uh, thumper pickerel in Henderson Harbor. Should be a lot of fun today. Maybe not. Maybe not. This might not have been around again. Not a big one, but it's a fun one if I can get him in. Buddy. Hello, fella. Hello, guy. Hello, guy. Oh, my goodness. Okay. And these are pickerel. And this is why I catch them so much fun. Yeah, these guys are fun. These guys are fun. As you can see, he, uh, he wanted that little swim bait. Got it right in the corner of his gap. Come on. They definitely, definitely got some teeth on them, that's for sure. <laughs> Fat little dudes, though. Just as chunky as they can be. Fun fish. Fun fish. The neat thing for me is if I want to catch fish, why not come out here and do this? Honestly, I live about six minutes from where I'm sitting right now. Look out my uh, window. The lake looks good. It's in my flat. Hook the boat up from the garage, drive down here, launch it, and I'm fishing within six minutes. I mean, come on. That's pretty good stuff.
Elegy. Another whopper pick. Let me get your string stretched and uh, have fun doing it. Why not chase pickerel? But uh, just as bad as they can be. Fun little dudes, man. Cool. Whew. Good stuff, man. <laughs>